Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Crocker. We're down here today at Hale Golf and Driving Range. Um, I'm the assistant pro here at Hale. Um, currently, I'm doing my training as a PJ professional. Just finished my first year, uh, heading into my second year in September, and then another year after that, so three years in total. Obviously quite new to the coaching scene and, and everything like that, but uh, learning, enjoying the process, and hopefully just get a little bit better. Um, so obviously doing a pro tip with Big Oggy today. Um, and that tip is going to be, yes, it's a bit generic, but we're going to be doing how to hit a draw and how to hit a fade. But specifically, what we're going to try and talk about today is the mechanics behind a draw and a fade, um, to try and give you guys more knowledge about what's actually going on with the swing when we try and hit that draw and fade, which I feel like most people don't actually understand fully. And again, if you don't understand that fully, how are you going to be able to hit, uh, hit those shots when you want them, or perhaps them on the range? So what we're going to do today, put the club down, we're going to use these alignment sticks to kind of give us that um, visual representation of, of the three bits I'm going to talk about. So in this double black alignment rod, I'm going to pop down here, I'm going to aim it at, there's a, there's a red flag in the distance straight ahead of me, which is going to be our target line. Okay, so this is where we'll see our feet, shoulders, our, all our body's going to be aligned to that target. Um, and that's obviously where we're trying to hit the ball. We're going to use this red alignment stick here, and that's going to represent our club path. Okay, blue one, going to represent the club face. So what we'll do is first we'll talk about a draw. So again, this is club path, and this is our face. We need to hit a draw. Our path must be exiting right of that target line. Okay, so coming through into impact, coming down, we want that club exiting a little bit right, okay? Now where our face needs to be pointing in relation to that path is needing to be, right here and hopefully this camera's picking it up, is just left of where our club path is. So club path exiting right, face left of the path. Okay, that's what's really important. Now, face left of path, that creates that angle and that's going to create that curvature that you will see in the air of starting right and drifting left. Now, if I was to move this club face left of the target, to our target line, yes, that is going to create a draw, but what you'll see is about 90% of the time, the ball will start wherever the club face is, uh, wherever the club face is pointed. Okay? So obviously there, the ball's going to start left and it's going to curve and we're going to miss target. So that path is all, uh, club face has always got to be right of our target line, the left of path. Hope that makes a bit of sense. I'm not trying to confuse you, but it's something that people don't really understand fully. Okay. Now, everyone's different in regards to how to hit uh, draws. Some people prefer to be really feel-based with it. Some people prefer a technical uh, area within the swing that they like to think about to make sure they hit a draw every time. I myself am quite feely so I literally just feel like I try and exit that club right and I just let my wrists and hands almost be relaxed um, to try and get that club face shutting down early and obviously getting it left of our path. What you find with most amateurs is they don't hit a draw, they tend to hit a fade mainly because of their transition. So they'll transition this way chucking the club over in front of them and obviously that, if that club's in front of you, the only way the club's going to go is exiting left. If you're exiting left, you're not going to hit a draw. So the most important thing in my opinion when I'm teaching an amateur who struggles to hit a draw is working on that transition. So rather than coming over the top this way or in front of you, I like to try and see that club shallowing out. So going underneath that right shoulder, see the plane of the club there underneath? If we can get that underneath there and turn through, naturally you can see there that club path is going to want to exit right. Okay, so if we think about that, I'll hit one shot here, trying to feel like I shallow that club out, get the shaft of the club underneath that right shoulder, and hopefully from there I'll be able to hit that drawy shape. Pretty good, we'll take that. There's a bit of right left wind up there anyway. Okay, now quickly what we'll do as well, we'll just swap it around with hitting the fade. So again, we've just pull our pop 
the target line, see it down there, you get that red flag. Red is the club path. So again, here to hit fade, we've got to have that club path going left. And then the club face again, we haven't worked it out. The club face to be right of path. Um, and obviously that creates again that curvature. The angle between these two, the bigger obviously it is, the more curvature you're going to see, the less, the less curvature you're going to see. Okay, so as long as our path is left and our face is right of our path, again, we're going to create that fade. Now, again, like I've said before, some people prefer to really feel it, which is what I do. I just feel like I get the club opposite to what a draw was, would be, getting it uh, forward of my body, in front of my body, and really hold my hands so I don't feel like I twist or turn at all, almost like a drive with a cricket shot. Um, but again, some people really like to feel that there's a technical aspect in their swing that they can rely on rather than just going purely from feel. So something I would say to, to people there is, opposite to what we do with a draw, I feel like when you come down, that club is slightly in front of you, and the club head is what I feel like is outside of the ball. Okay, some people may look at that and go, "I've been uh, taught this from my coach. That's a really bad thing to do." Yes, it is, but hit a fade. That's what you need to do. So the feeling of having that club head outside of the ball that is going to present that club exiting left, and then I like to feel with people that you just hold that face, don't let it turn. But again, with this. And what I'm trying to get out in this video is the mechanics of hitting draw and hit the fade are really important, but I don't want to just give one tip of how to hit how to hit that tip to shot because everyone is so individual, everyone has different aspects in their swing. You can't, in my opinion, just give one tip and that's it. I'm not a massive fan of them. I feel like everyone has to be individualised. If you can understand the mechanics of how to hit draw and how to hit fade, you can go away to your coach go on the range and find out the way that's going to bring you the most consistent shots. It may well be feel, it may well be having a technical thought in your brain, but you've got to find it yourself on the range what's best. So I found out I'm a much better feel player. So again, like I say, with a fade, I'll aim down my target line, I'm just going to feel like naturally my club's exiting left, and I really feel like I just hold my hands and I don't let them rotate like I'm with a draw. So I aim down my target line, I just really feel this shot. Yeah, we'll take that. So that's it. It may not make too much sense to you, but I hope it does. For me, again, like I've said so many times, the mechanics of how to hit a draw and how to hit fade, in my opinion, are so important. If you know them, then hopefully you're going to be able to get on the range, have a lesson with your coach and work out the best way to hit a draw and how to hit a fade. Um, and as, long as, as long as you understand those mechanics, I feel like it's going to give you a lot more knowledge and you're going to be able to hit those shots that you can usually hit. I hope it's all good. See you guys soon.